I've been getting a ton of questions from clients who want to know what do I do as far as the landscaping around my fence. If you just had a brand new fence in, you may be interested in this because you're wondering, all right, do I put mulch up against the fence? Do I do gravel? How do I keep it clean? All these different things. In this video, I'm going to put together a design that answers that exact question. Welcome, my name is Bobby Kay. I'm a professional landscape designer and this channel is dedicated to DIYers, landscape lovers, and those interested in landscape design. If you're interested in any of those topics, consider subscribing. Now, let's get to the tutorial. So I've got the picture loaded in here. What we first need to do is put together a template so we kind of understand, or more or less a blank canvas on what is this gonna be. So I'm gonna jump in here, I'm gonna Photoshop a bunch of stuff out, give us more of a vision, and then we're gonna start to play around with what are gonna be some of the things that we can put along the fence that are gonna make it look pretty, be low maintenance, and present an option that doesn't make the fence dirty over time. So we photoshopped out the best we can. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're presenting an idea. We're solving a problem with the design. So at least I've cleared up the fence. You can see, all right, what are we working with here? Now what I wanna do is I wanna go in, I wanna get rid of all this and show what the lawn could be. And then we'll start to cut in the shapes of what can go along the fence, the landscaping. And truly the problem with this is, well, can I put mulch right up against the fence? And the answer is, yeah, you can, but if you're worried about it getting dirty, having to power wash, having to take out one of those scrub brushes and scrub it down and, and just stuff that the grime and the gook and the stuff that starts to creep up there, one thing you can do is integrate decorative rock into the design. You can either do decorative rock for the whole bed or you can put it just along the fence and you can do it in a classy way where it looks really, really nice and then put mulch in front to soften it up. So let's jump in, speed it up, see what we can do. We'll go from there. Okay, so we're in here, we're in one of our main menus, and we're going to pick out the type of stone that we want. Um, a lot of the times you can go with an Iowa Rainbow Rock, Alabama Sunset, they've got a lot of color, quartz, texture, they're smooth, they don't hurt to walk on, they're great for pools. In this particular case, I don't think we have to get too fancy. I'm going to go with a, a Merrimack B Gravel, which is the same kind of gravel that goes around French drainage system. It's great for water to permeate down through. At the same time, we can line in that gravel some plants where you almost don't even see the gravel. The point of the gravel is to protect the fence from the mulch kind of creeping up, getting it dirty, all these different things. So let's go in here, select it, and we'll throw it in there. And boom, now you can see that we've lined everything. There we go. We got our Merrimack B gravel here, along here, along the backside. Now what I wanna do is I wanna cut in the beds. And what I want you to think about is if you're putting in landscape beds is what's the theme? Do you want more of a contemporary vibe, which a lot of the times it's gonna be straight lines, right angles, things like that. Or do you want it to have more of a flowy native look? In this particular case, I know that we've got these hard lines with the fence. I think it'll work, but I may play along with the, uh, the flow of the beds and uh, kind of give it some curves and a little bit of depth, a little bit of fun. So uh, let's play around with that. One thing I want to point out is Obviously, I'm messing around with this curve like crazy, and you know what? It's totally like a Bob Ross painting. You know, put an afro on me right now. There's, there's no right way to do this. You can make as many curves, dips, and doodles as you want. Um, the point is that you're following kind of a theme of that S and that curve going around. You know what? As I'm starting to play around with this, I'm starting to realize that I can't stop myself. I can't help it. <laughs> I know that the, the point of this was just like, hey, what's a solution for keeping a fence nice and clean? And can we bring mulch up to it? The answer is yes. The answer is, if you really want to be cautious, you can definitely put down the gravel. And one cool tip that I want to get to you is use weed barrier. Make sure you put that down so you're not going to have any grass or anything growing up through, even after you take it out with, say, a sod cutter, skid loader, um, a dingo, whatever it is that you decide. Or if you want to hand dig it out, you can do that too. So a little pro tip there for you. Point is, all of a sudden, this thing starts to come alive and I start to see the possibilities. It's like, I'm looking at the shed and I'm thinking, all right, well, that's kind of cool. Do I want to walk through grass or maybe do I want to create 
a pathway over to that shed and maybe that pathway comes from an outdoor patio with like a fire pit and stuff like that. I can totally see beyond this photo and see that this could be a whole huge design which I would love to do but let's stay on point. Let's just get this cleaned up. I'll put a little path in to show what it could be. We'll throw some trees, grasses, shrubs, whatever in and I'll call it a day. All right, I think that looks pretty nice. So let's do some final touches and put a couple of bushes in front in, in the mulch area. Um, you know, you can do all kinds of themes or whatnot here. You could do a native theme where it's a bunch of perennials. You could do uh, nothing. And I think it looks pretty nice just like this. It's all about uh, what you want, dealer's choice. For me, I'm feeling a little bit more of a formal theme. For a second here. I know we could go with the perennials and give it all kinds of color. Maybe we will do that. Gosh, I was thinking boxwoods, not feeling it all of a sudden. Now I want to go a little cuckoo and just get color everywhere. Ah, let's see. I can never make up my mind. What theme, what color theme do I want to go with? I'm feeling yellows or purples for some reason. Let's get, you know what? I tell you what, I'll do a little bit of a compromise. I want the purple, but I also was talking bushes. Why don't we throw some lilacs in? I love lilac bushes. There you go. So we can have this one a little bit bigger so you can see obviously the depth and the scope, but then we'll start to shrink them down, make them a little bit smaller so it looks realistic. And let's just line this thing with some lilacs. And as far as how big the lilacs get, I think it's about three feet, something like that. Let's look it up. Okay, I was totally wrong. This particular one, which is not what I would plant here, gets up to like eight feet. We're gonna get a dwarf or something like that, but obviously there's tons of choices and different things that you can use. You don't have to use this exact template, but uh, you know, I wanted to pre present a pretty picture of what this backyard space can look like for this particular homeowner. I think they deserve it, they've worked hard, and uh, why not show them what the full potential of their space can be? At the beginning of the video, we had a fence. Weren't sure what to do up against the fence, how we we're gonna landscape it. I think you could see that you can create all kinds of different themes as long as you decide if you want gravel, if you want gravel up against just the fence, or you wanna go with mulch and you have a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of cleaning of the fence. All three are viable options, but uh, I like the one with the gravel and the mulch. You got the two different elements, less maintenance, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one.